Hello guys, what is up? Today we got a new video. Today we're going to be showing you guys what the rank 1 fiddle 6 looks like with a 92% win rate as Jesus Great Savior. This guy is really weird. He has really weird stats. So first off, he's D4. 57% win rate. Okay, okay, you know. Interesting. 51% rate win rate on Master Yi and on Fiddlesticks, a 92% win rate with a 53% win rate on Shivana, that and like win rate 37 on Diana, 63 on Wukong, you know, just just honestly a regular person. But he has a 92% win rate and he goes Arcane Comet on Fiddlesticks, which doesn't make any sense to me. I don't understand. And he also maxes Drain instead of putting three points into Fear after level six. Um, yeah, this guy is really weird. I, he also rushes a Zonia's, which I don't think you need on Fiddle 6. But the most interesting thing is like, you know, I thought someone was boosting his account or something. Like maybe he just started the main Fiddle 6. I don't really know, but essentially, yeah, he's D4. Yes, he, Diamond 4, it's Diamond 4, right? Like it's not challenge or anything, but it's 92% win rate and he's not even dual. So what? I don't understand what's really going on in these games where he's just popping off. Like, it could be a Fiddlesticks booster. I don't think it is. Um, you know, before, like, to, he, like, this all started 12 days ago, too. Just started maining Fiddlesticks, and, like, before he was a Master Yi main for some reason. And then finally, he decided, hey, I'm going to main Fiddlesticks and get a 92% win rate. So, like, yeah. Today, we're going to be investigating, like, why he's the best fiddle six in North America and how he got a 92% win rate. It is D4, yes. I'm gonna I don't know what to really expect, but it's still pretty impressive. It's 60 games too, right? So I'm just wondering, is he really lucky? Or does he do something that I don't really know that's like just super magical and it'll work to maybe even challenge or something? Let's go and find out. Also, he really likes Master Yi. He keeps playing Master Yi in Earth, I guess. I guess he really likes that champ. I don't know, but yeah. With that being said, we're gonna be investigating to see why like, he's got a 92% win rate. Arcane, Arcane Comet Fiddle Six. All right, what's this? All right, alrighty, Master of Fiddle Sticks, teach me your ways. I would love to know what this guy does to get a 92% win rate as Fiddle Six. All right, so one thing I do is I start Pot and Vision Warden, but this guy likes to start Refillable Pot. Oh, and he puts an early Scarecrow. I like that. I like that. Just in case they invade this way, right? That's that's definitely smart. Little little BM, little BM. You know, this this invader is awful because they're not traveling as a group. And if someone was in this bush, you know, no one. Someone. I think Pantheon might have to flash, but I guess that's okay. But now they're finally grouped. You know, they finally got unlazy and they find someone. The s MFF. Oh. And he gets first blood. Okay. But will we recall for a dark seal? I don't think there's time. But it would kind of help. Okay, so let's see, let's see. He does the clear. He gets a leash. I don't usually do a leash. This doesn't do really anything. Because you're just waiting for drop to spawn anyways, so you don't really need a leash. But you know what? That's what every bot laner is doing. You know, just give a free leash. Sucks it in. Uh he just popped his nullifying orb off the grump. Okay, that's pretty funny, but I guess he doesn't really need it. Um, nullifying orb is good into, I guess, what's his name? Sir Syringa, Syndra, and Ramus. It's okay. I mean, he's taking Arcane Comet. He smites that. I don't agree with that. I usually smite red um, because, yeah, I usually smite red because the red buff has MR. And he's also not doing the double leash. He's not doing the double leash. Like, right here, you usually walk up to the red buff and drain both of them at the same time. But I guess he doesn't care. Also, I take two points in the W. So, you know, this guy's got two weeks of experience on Fiddle 6. He sees something. He sees something. Instead of doing the red buff, he decides to go for the counter gank. Okay, how will this work up? Yeah, so he just wasted his time going up here, you know. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. He just wasted time trying to counter to gank this. This didn't accomplish anything at all. So instead of uh, going back to his red, he's decided, let's do the golems. Why not? 
Okay, so sucky sucky. Sucky sucky. More sucky sucky. He lets Ramus take the crab. He's a little behind on his full clear, you know. Usually end up 315. But, um, yeah, he wants to do counter gank. Wasted some time. And he loses double crab. That sucks. But he does get a gank on top lane. He sees the opportunity. Will he stand in this bush? Oh, he's checks checking. Um... Um, um, very, very, very sloppy. Uh, he could have eat him, he could have eat here, feared, and then you know, Pantheon flashes here, QW, you know what I mean. He could have done that of some sort, but you know, it's okay. Okay, just press QEW, which is the other combo. Um, yeah, uh, a little sloppy, but let's let's continue. That, that play was fine. I think he goes the blue tree. Because he wants transcendence for more ultis and water walking is OP for every jungler, right? So he decides to counter jungle these guys. I don't think he knows where Ramus is. And fortunately enough, like these camps were open because Ramus just ganked like level three and then just did double crab. But now he says, let's re gank the top lane let's regank the top lane blast plant is here damn he's still low. okay will we go in when is he going to go in oh camille is not walking up this is kind of a waste of time this camille is playing really safe he actually there's no way she still has her e right he gets the kill with the flash fear the flash fear kills Camille. Very high intense play. I think he could have gone actually a little sooner. When they start fighting, but you know, whatever. Does she have this warded? She does not. Alright, alright. Mr. Rank 1 Fiddlesticks teaching me the way. Alrighty. Um, I feel like he should be level 6, but that's okay. He sees something on the map. He says, that's my crab. Help me get this crab. Mr. Ramis, you're not getting this crab. Mr. Ramis pings. He is on the dragon. And he is on the dragon. Looks like we got a Mr. Ghoster up in here. And now he's just doing both of them at the same time. Will he get caught up, Mr. Oh, he digs a big bad play. He is definitely dead. No prial, no laners to help him with the dragon. Mr. Rank 1 Fiddlesticks. I'm not too sure about that play, but he is the Rank 1. All right, all right. So he's going back in. He says, you know what? What up? I'm going to take this blue buff. And now he's level 6. Is he going to look for a gank somewhere? He cannot find one with his ultimate. Yes, he cannot find one. But he is going to be sneaking in the bush. He says, I don't want camps. I want to kill. And exactly, I'm level 6. Let me get a double kill bot lane. And this is what I do too. I love killing bot lane for free. And Mr. Set, the aggressive melee support, wants to fight. And this is easily a pike double kill. He is level 6. But will they dive? And that's it. That's the that is the execution, Mister. I don't know. This Pike is a kind of griefing. I'm not gonna lie. This Pike is kind of weird with his alties, but it's okay. Mister G C is a great savior. I'll play the set who almost killed him. That's my aggressive fiddle six. He actually already has his runic echoes, um, interestingly enough. And he goes for the insane dive play. Damn, you got confidence, my god. Let's look at that replay again. Oh, wait. That's not even an insane dive play. That's just a grief from Ramus. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Okay, whatever. Alright, Mr. G is your savior. What are you looking for now? Are you looking for some camp? You have your ultimate back up in 8 seconds, so let's see if you find something. Oh, you find a crab? Definitely, that is the play. He doesn't silence it though before he W's. That's kind of weird. Is he is he fearful for Ram is coming? I don't think so. You know, just eating it for the removal of the buff. It's fine. Okay. Whatever. He says his camps are up. He can't really find something on the map. He drains this. 
And here comes the big fat ulti onto Syndra. He feared, he knows Syndra is dead. And says, let me go for the set. That is actually, that is the gameplay I want to see. He knows the Syndra got feared. So he just goes for the fear on someone else. That is excellent rank one for the six gameplay. All right, so he's super fed. <laughs> this Camille knows she just did Rift, but she is basically still dead. I would have just honestly cut off this way. He, he should have moved to the left after he saw where she was moving, but I still think he gets the kill with a magical drain, with the smite steal, with the Rift Herald coming in soon. Yes, it is. Getting all that money for himself. Because Camille is dead, she doesn't have any TP. And this is all his, and he sees something else on the map. He actually is going to go for a mid play. Let's see what he does. All right, Jesus, great savior. Show me the way. Oh, they're doing, they are doing dragon and they're fighting over here. Interesting. Will he clean this up with just a Vagar? Yes, he does. Flashes to CC the Ramus who has dived in and is going Swifties and armor against Vagar and Fiddlesticks. Interesting, interesting. And now he saved Vagar with a flash fear. A little W cancellation going on, but kind of useless. Oh, but the team is here. He is doing this with no prio, but it doesn't matter. He has fiddlestick and they all will die. He knows his path down is coming. And instead, dude. Instead of doing the dragon for free, he sees the kill onto the misfortune who was sticking around and he does get the kill out of that. So this guy knows how to play fiddlesticks. He knows that when someone is dead, he will kill them 100%. A little like few mismatched prior, you know, he soloed dragon once and got killed for that. But he's definitely doing a great job on the fiddlesticks mechanics for sure. Alrighty, Mr. Fiddlesticks, what is your next move? No objectives are on the map, and your ultimate isn't up for Mr. Fiddlesticks. Rank 1, show me what you got. What's your next move? A dive of some sort, or a counter jungle? This guy is definitely diveable. You could have walked there and took and and denied this Camille this wave. Honestly, I think Pantheon could just kill him right now himself. I don't think he needs help. But it doesn't master, or it doesn't matter. One shot Willy has been one shotted by the Fiddlesticks. And it looks like Mr. Fiddly Sticks gets both camps, top tower, and a denied wave. He hasn't backed in a while. He knows this game is over. And he says, What the? Wait, 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 wait. And he says, You know what? I'm going to stick by here to dive the Camille who is straight up inting. I don't think that's, I mean, I don't think that Zonia's, it was okay. He still had a lot of hit points to go, but I think he knows he's building a Zonia, so why not use my stopwatch right now? Um, I also disagree with the Zonia's versus buy. I don't think it's useful. Unless like, cause like if you get a good ultimate, you, the fight should be over, right? But, uh, you know, the Zonia's helps if you're going to get destroyed after. But if your ultimate is so good, it shouldn't matter. And he sees a... Okay. And he sees another play here. Sneaks in the bush. Gets the ward out. Gets the blast plant. He says, screw it. I'm going to kill the predator set. Don't move anywhere. He's got tenacity though. Oh, he's got the stopwatch yet again. And he drains him. This Ramus has no MR, no damage. Doesn't matter, this guy is dead. Draining him out of his turtle shell. Nice, nice, nice. Mr. Mr. Rank 1, 92% win rate fiddlestick, smoking and showing the Ramus to his boss. He gets a bad cheese for the Ramus and Syndra. I like it, I like it. Double defensive. And nothing can kill him. He gets a nice ult. Doesn't matter. The team fight is one, and he has forty percent CDR with transcendence. Um, 
Yeah, he has 40% CDR, so he can perma ult, and that is his playstyle, perma ulting the enemy team. Oh, yes, he is looking for another ult, getting in position already. He's hitting the wards, but will he go for an ultimate? No, his Banshees is up. Go away, Mr. Ramus. You are nothing to me. But he decides, screw the Ramus, I am going for the ult. I don't know what he feared or silenced, but definitely a little misplay. Definitely a little misplay. Didn't silence anything, but he still gets a kill onto the Ramus, and the Pike gets an execution. That is interesting. That is great. When is his ult up? Oh, 20 seconds. It's in 20 seconds. The Cinder is trapped. Boom! Gets the cut from Pike. So what have I I've learned? There's something I've learned from this game is that um, I think Arcane Comet sucks. I don't think it's useful in any way. Electrocute is definitely better. Oh. Gets the awesome ultimate. He has Zonia's, so he destroys them all with his AoE. Oh, oh. Uh, he knows the game is over, though. He's just having some fun. The enemy blue team is trying to surrender. Looks like it's not happening. But yeah, um... So let me end this with uh, some things. I really like Leandre's. I actually, for the double defensive items, I usually do go that because you get um, you get CDR as well as the ability to not actually die, and you can drain a lot of hit point if you need to. I don't like how he didn't go Leandre's. I really like Leandre's for like one shotting and stuff and not relying on your team. Um, for his runes, right here. Yeah, he's running the right red runes for these runes. This is fine. I don't think nullifying orb is a good uh, rune at all. Comet. It did a lot of damage, but is it actually useful? I don't think so. It's a poking tool, right? It's a poking tool. So I think he should go electrocute. But let's see the final countdown. He goes for the Syndra. I think she'll push him away. Nope, that is not MF. Gets a kill on Syndra. Zonia set. Unfortunate. Oh, the BM. Look at him. Jesus, great savior, my guy. But yeah, I like the Electric Q route. You get Cheap Shot, Eyeball Collection, Ultimate Hunter. A little bit more damage. And then you can also go... What do I go? Oh, I go Nimbus Cloak. Because I want to get in faster, right? I go Nimbus Cloak and Absolute Focus. Uh, you could go with Cosmic Insight for free boots or a stopwatch, but whatever. And yeah, Mr. Fiddlesticks is about to win the game. No Banshees. He's just poking them with a little Comet. Fears him away. Will not be getting in my way. Says, go away, Mr. Camille. And look at this. The surprise Fiddlesticks fear. He actually thought it would fear, honestly. I thought it would too, but it didn't fear anyone. Oh, okay. The poke. The comet coming in. Comet's coming up in a few seconds. Oh, he's been engaged on. He does have Zonia to bait them all into the fight. And they're all dead. He doesn't die. He drains them all as he's about to almost die and wishes them that nothing happened. And that's the way it goes. Mr. Rank 1 Fiddlesticks has shown me his arcane comet Fiddlesticks. And I have given my opinion on it. I don't think Arcane Comet is the way. He is running the right uh, red runes, but yeah, I think Nimbus Cloak and Absolute Focus is definitely the way. Or Cosmic Insight and Free Boots, whatever you want to go. But Electrocute, I feel like it's the best, just so you can get that early game one shot. Or you're trying to one shot someone in a team fight that you need to focus. But with that being said, uh, yeah, interesting video. I think. Beto 6 is just really good and really low elos because everyone tends to forget where the Fiddle 6 is if he's just hiding in a fog of war in higher elos it's a little harder to play Fiddle 6 because people have wards and you need to actually sweep and like pretty much um, make sure you're never in vision when you're ulting so people do still fall for it because they want to fight and are mentally broken by Fiddle 6 but um, yeah Fiddle 6 is a little bit harder to find angles if, especially if you're on vision so every this guy made sure that every time he ulted, he actually was out of Fog of War. So props to him, he's D4. He's doing like a lot of Fiddlesticks mechanics good. A little few poor 
early game ganks that could have been a little bit less sloppy, but they still worked out. But with that being said, Jesus Great Saver, O Rank 1 Fiddle 6, has shown me the way. So thank you for watching this video. Hope, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.